In this video, I'm going to show you how we can find a normal to a plane using the vector product or cross product of two vectors. And so in the upper right hand corner here, I've drawn a three dimensional plane. And the scenario we're going to be looking at here is we have three points. So I'll say A, B, and C, all of which are contained in that plane. And we need to find a normal vector to this plane. In other words, a vector that's perpendicular to the plane. Now let's say that the coordinates of A, B, and C are A with coordinates 1, 2, 1, B with coordinates 4, 1, and 3, and finally C with coordinates 1, 5, 0. Now the whole approach here for finding a normal to the plane is to find a normal vector to two vectors contained in the plane. So if I go ahead and define the vector AB, which I'm drawing right now, that's my vector AB, as well as the vector AC, right there, and I'll label that as well, that's AC. Then if I were to calculate the cross product of the vectors AB and AC, the result would be a green vector, like the one I'm drawing right now, that's perpendicular to both vectors AB and AC. The fact that this green vector is perpendicular to both of them tells us that it's perpendicular to the plane. And that's the whole idea. So if I go ahead and call that vector n, as in normal vector, then I can go ahead and state that a normal vector to the plane is equal to the cross product of vector AB and AC. So let's go ahead and calculate that. First, I'm going to need to find the vectors AB and AC, so I'll do that underneath. The vector AB will have components 4 minus 1, which is 3, 1 minus 2, which is negative 1, and 3 minus 1, so that's 2. The vector AC, on the other hand, will have components 1 minus 1, so that's 0, 5 minus 2, which is 3, and finally 0 minus 1 and that's negative 1. Done. Now that we have these two vectors, we can go ahead and calculate a normal to the plane. So let's see, I can say that the vector n is equal to the cross product of AB and AC. And to calculate this, well, you can use the formula if you please, but I like to use the determinant of a matrix method, so I draw that here. And so the top row are my unit base vectors i, j, and k. The second row is made up of the components of AB, so that's 3, negative 1, 2. So if I just write that, that's 3, negative 1, and 2. And the third row is made of the components of the second vector in the product, so that's 0, 3, negative 1. I'll just write that, that's 0, 3, negative 1. Okay, to calculate this, I work along the top row we have here, and so I can state that's equal to i times the 2 by 2 determinant, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 1 minus j times the 2 by 2 determinant, 3, 2, 0, negative 1, plus k times the 2 by 2 determinant, 3, negative 1, 0, 3. Calculating each of these leads us to i times, in parentheses, negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1, minus 3 times 2, so that's 6, minus j times 3 times negative 1, so that's negative 3 minus 0 times 2, which is just 0, plus k times 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 0 times negative 1, which is 0. Finally, taking care of each of these pairs of parentheses, we can state that a normal vector n to this plane is 1 minus 6 times i, so that's negative 5i, minus negative 3 times j, so that's plus 3 j plus 9 times k. So that's just plus 9k. And there we go. We've just found a normal to the plane containing the three points a, b, and c using the vector product of two vectors. And that's it for this tutorial.